Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where we're just doing great. We're doing super great and I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm just very excited for this game. <laughs> uh, but I desperately want to go get my husband. I am a little upset. I don't have my glasses. I can't find them. Uh, I went camping last week to Joshua Tree National Park and uh, like on the Thanksgiving like weekend and um, now I cannot find my glasses. I don't know where I put them. But I don't necessarily need them. It's just better for the long term. It makes it easier for me to play games longer. I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Why? Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. The rules require me to confiscate all amps. Could you please hand over yours? I don't have one. I'm not a biotic. Oh. Well, when you objected, I thought... You humans are all racist. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> if it was gonna be... Well, no, I'll say, I'll say it, would be, it would be racist, I guess, if you were... Maybe, maybe racist if you're talking about Asari. But all Asari are biotics. So maybe you could be, like, assuming they have a biotic amp. Oh, his armor does look so nice. It looks like a mahogany almost on, underneath. I know it's more like a red, like, fiber or something, but... Anyway, um... And it's so shiny! Garrus! Oh my gosh. You're so shiny! <laughs> um... Anyway, <laughs> I don't know why the biotic amp thing is racist. Because <laughs> nobody is, like, specifically... Like, the only race that's specifically biotic is... Asari, and they don't need amps to like, uh, which, to be fair, like a biotic amp, you don't necessarily need an amp to like use biotics. Also, biotic implants, biotic, well, okay, biotic implants are implanted. An amp is potentially an augment. I haven't actually considered that. I don't, I, I don't know if amp and augment is like interchangeable in this because like, you darn well can't remove cadence, you know what I mean? Like, you generally can't remove them unless it's through surgery. Like, you can't just, like, pop it out. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I don't know. You guys are all racist. What am I doing? I want to go back to the Normandy. Oh, we have to go talk to Kasumi. Like, like I was saying earlier, like, usually when I, like, you know, you play a game for the first time, you acquire it, and you go, you go talk to them, like, immediately. But sometimes now when I'm playing, I just kind of get forgetful a little bit. Kelly? Commander, you've okay. received a new message at your private terminal. Take care, Garrus. Oh, from Nala Butler. My husband was one of the men serving on Garrus's team. I don't know how much Garrus talked to you about what happened. I don't know the specific myself, only that my husband died in his trap set by those bastard gangs. I know Garrus blames himself. He took every shot fired at his squad as a failure on his part. And it was clear that when, when he sent me the message about my husband, he thinks it was his fault. My husband would never have wanted that. He was proud of the work he did on Garrus's squad. He was taking back Omega from the gangs. He died fighting with honor. I miss him. Thought I'd give anything to get him back. But whatever happened there wasn't Garrus's fall. You're his commander now. Please, if you can, help him stop blaming himself. And please don't tell him I sent you this. Thank you, Nala Butler. Uh, Garrus, you may- see, Garrus, you made a difference in people's lives. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know, do they wear their, um... Do they wear their new armors even on the ship? I think they do. Let's go let's go poke Miranda and see. She does. Commander, what can I do for you? Yeah. Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Yeah, take a look. Did we oh go? Uh what does she want? from me. No. Yeah, jeez. This is what... Uh, I don't know which one. They don't ever say exactly which one is which, but I think it's usually in the ship enhancements part. So she might be the mineral scanner? I know the med bay upgrades Morden's we already did Garrus's because this was the gun. Yeah. 
Yeah, more heavy weapon armor. I like that. Yeah, she did. Was the I think it was the uh, the mineral scanner. Anyway, wait. Can we talk, Commander? What can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to yeah. do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Okay. So we're good on that, but I need to go talk to Kasumi. But her, she has the same problem that Zaid has, where she doesn't really get the cutscenes necessarily. But her room is probably my favorite. People are talking out there. And I hear it all. Mm -hmm. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. People think he's a bad cook on purpose, like he's trying to teach them a lesson. I think his ramen is okay, but it's really hard to ruin ramen. <laughs> I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk I'm about. I'm sure you will. The Red Rose. That used to be my calling card when I first started out. In place of whatever I took, I left a single red rose. It wasn't until I met Keiji that I realized how silly it was. He had a way of making you realize when you were just being sentimental. I mean, it's, yeah, it's like a... I think it's fun, right? Like, to leave something. It's very dramatic. I stole that on a dare, believe it or not. There was a big museum show coming to Ilium. Artifacts from Earth going on tour. Very high security. Keiji dared me to steal this. So I broke in, hacked the security, put a few guards to sleep, and replaced the piece with a worthless duplicate. They never knew the difference. My first museum job. Nowhere near the last. I'm gonna scrape! <laughs> Don't steal priceless artifacts, you monster! That's my favorite piece, painted for me by a child prodigy from Elysium. She was the cutest thing. She was kidnapped by slavers who hoped to sell her on Omega. I wasn't about to let that happen. I set up an idea as a buyer's rep to get a special tour of the slaver's vessel. Once aboard, I freed the girl and smuggled her off the ship. She painted that for me on the way home. I'll never forget how it felt to watch her work. So she, Kasumi is not, I don't think she's not like a vigilante sort, but like she's definitely not, you know, she's a no-nonsense, like not gonna let people get away with stuff like that. Don't laugh, I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels, the classics. There's something about the feel of actual paper in your hands. Their musty smell. It's relaxing. Keiji used to find books for me while on the job. Some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal. I was gonna say, uh, hard copy books would be very expensive in, a, in, a, in an age like this age, you know, in the future, where like everything's digital and cheaper. Um, hard, I assume hard copy books would start to become pretty, pretty valuable. Like, oh my gosh, it's true though. Like, I hope we never get to that point where we stop, where we stop having hard cover, like hard copy books, man. I don't, I don't think we will, but you never know. Also, this is really weird that Kasumi's room is technically the bar where people go to hang out. Unless she just has a personal bar. This could just be her personal bar. In which case, I've just walked up and I am just, um... You know. <laughs> I don't know why the way you do this, but the fact that I let you mix the drinks and make a red one and a blue one into a purple one desperately makes me want to do it every time. Like, it's chemistry. You know? Uh, this might actually give me vertigo. Okay. Ooh, this actually is making me a little nauseous. <laughs> oh, they don't have anything yet because we don't have. We haven't had an actual mission. I am actually getting a little sick. I hope it. Okay, is it done? Is it done? I think it's done. <laughs> um. <gasps> Captain's cabin. I gotta go see my fish are dead. Oh, they're not dead. Good. I feed them. Oh, and let's change my armor. 
the terminus suit. Oh, it's so cool. And it increases storm speed, increases shields, and all weapons, ammo reserves. Oh, yes. I love it. It's very good. Very good. Very good. Let's see what this. We have the capacitor helmet on that one. But this is the capacitor. Reduces the delay of shield starting. So this is like one of the armors that might, well, it's still kind of boob armor. But it's more like hollow. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Uh, I like this one because it makes her look like she's got a freaking metal six pack. Uh, increases health by 5%. This one's better, but I don't like it. This is the off-head ammo pack. <laughs> oh, the storm. Anyway, we're gonna use the terminus armor. The only problem is that uh, so it doesn't it's not doesn't take your helmet off during uh, cutscenes, and I like my face. It's a good face. Hello, baby. Kaden! I can't believe, like, somebody put that here. Freaking, freaking elusive man being like, oh yeah, ooh, we're gonna pull on your heartstrings. Shut up. I need. Cracking up with a cold one. Mmm. Should we talk to Kelly? She have anything to say? Morden's psych profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. He's going to be a very productive member of the team. Anyway, what's up? Um. Oop, that's off. not. I'll be here if you need anything. Hang on, hang on. Sorry, I'm sorry. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Mm, okay. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. What a Karen hairstyle. Oh, also, we need to go talk to Joker about acquiring Kasumi. I don't know. It might not count, though. I don't think he did anything for Zaid. Commander. Uh, I took Zaid, so I already know his opinion on Garrison. Hang on. I assume everything's going well up here? We're just having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. <laughs> it's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. Um... So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. As for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. <laughs> What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Well, it seems like Garrus has finally worked that stick out of his butt, <laughs> but now he's trying to beat guys to death. <laughs> I can't believe I like the old Garrus better. <laughs> Zaid is like you, but takes checks. As long as it's not my money, we're good. I don't know. It's just my I don't know why he likes Zaid. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? <laughs> yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. Come on, you guys, you guys could have rallied. That's it for now. But like, really, See you, like, I, 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 what do you expect him to do? It was a very complicated situation with a lot of different like motivational factors, and Shepard's a very charismatic, like, team-oriented woman. Like, there was nobody else really to take my place, besides Garrus. But I think Garrus wanted to, like, ended up going like lone vigilante for a bit there. 
putting together his own crew, which is only fair. Like, you know, like like, I, like we've said before, like, Garrus could realistically be another shepherd if just given the opportunity. But he didn't. He was, he was me, but his own version for a while. Oh, uh, who do we want to... We're not going to... We'll wait on the convict. Um... I want to get the warlord. We have yay! Yay! We've got like 15 minutes. Um, do I want to start that now? I mean, what else am I gonna do? Let me look at this planet. Actually, I'm gonna scan it. Don't mind me. Way back. I believe, so I just did a bunch of scanning, right? I believe this shotgun is actually the one that Zaid wants. Um, so we'll give that to him. But I think everybody can use it, but it's the one that he talks about. Also, because <laughs> it's illegal, <laughs> the modifications that have been done to it um, make it illegal, so it's not distributed to militaries. Anyway, <laughs> that was what made me go, oh, it's probably Zaid. Oh my gosh, so my vaccine, my, I got my booster shot the other day, right? And the location is really itchy and swollen, which I know is normal, but it's just, it's not like super itchy, it's just like vaguely itchy, and it's like, Brr. also we could afford this, but iridium has been kind of hard to come by, and I want to save it up a bit. I would I would do like weapons and and um, armor upgrades, but I don't have the freaking the uh, upgrades that I, like the necess the prerequisite upgrades. I should probably go back to what's its name, um, a citadel for that. You do find some of these on missions though. Hi, Morden. Anyway. Let's just hop in. Let's just hop it. I've wasted enough time. And I will potentially just edit a bunch of that out. <laughs> but if I did, I just did like one upgrade and I think I got, um, what's his name? Saeed's shotgun that he wanted. A, a garbage scow with a climate was how one Citadel Council member described Qualys at the turn of the century, and ever since then the Qualys Tourist Bureau has been attempting to rebrand their planet. It hasn't worked, though they have tried calling it the Recycling Center of the Galaxy. Corruption, scandals, and a staggering murder rate ensure that Corliss's image is permanently stained. Corliss's biggest business is recycling of decommissioned or drunk spacecraft into their component parts. While the invention of Omnigel has made this process significantly cleaner, it is still a dirty business that chokes Corliss's sky own smog and fills its ports with megatons of scrap. A shady hospitality industry and a scavenger underclass round out the spectacle of urban decay. Corliss ranks second in murder per capita in the Termina systems and in first in first in off-world or murder. Uh, I was gonna assume Omega was probably one, but it is probably Omega is probably number one murder murder per capita. But apparently they are maybe second in off world or murder. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yes, uh, we were gonna bring Garrus and Zaid. Is that a good idea? Uh, I think it's these two. Yeah, it's these. Is it just as I eat? It might just be one of them that has like a special dialogue, but something I've never heard. So, I would bring Kasumi because it's what well, we have. Zaid's a soldier, and we have two biotic. Well, no, Garrus should have some. Yeah. Oh, never mind. He is a tech. For some reason, I was like, he's both. Like I thought he was biotic and tech, but he's not. That was weird. I don't know why my brain did that, but yeah. Um, so we're good. Saeed. Oh, does it, so Saeed doesn't have a shotgun. Who, who, could, who wanted the shotgun? He just has a rifle and a sniper. It's not Saeed. I need to pay more attention to, uh, Garrus in combat, too. 
Not that we've had a combat scenario since giving him the collector rifle. I'm pretty sure I've used the collector rifle in the past and had a blast. The dossier doesn't say if Okir is on this planet by choice. Assume hostiles. There is only one measure of success. Kill or be killed. Promotion is your goal. Mm -hmm. Loudspeakers. Someone likes the sound of their voice. Yeah. Stay focused. We're looking for a Krogan warlord. This planet is just what? Hang on. Hang on. How do we? Uh, we need to. We need to. Mm, turn that off. No. It's not free cam. But look at that. Like what? It's just a big, just a big junkyard. Oh hey, you guys look cool. Look at that. I don't look as cool. I know the mouse is in the way. I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> anyway, I wasn't trying to do anything specific there. Just wanted to look around. I know that there are enemies. They show up. Where are you? You gave me a bunch of... These guys are probably just like, what the frick, lady? We're mercenaries. Like, calm down. Heads up. Look out post ahead. Then they know we're here. Thank you. Ooh. I can't. You know, I think I usually, now that I think about it, I think I have their abilities turned off. Because... They both have concussive shot. This is gonna be this is gonna be a blast, honestly. That was fast. You like the little flames they put on the side of the gun? To indicate if you've got incendiary ammo on or not. Oh hey, wounded Merc, what up? We could just walk past him. Shit. Shit. I won't stop bleeding. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Son of a bitch. Doesn't look that bad, actually. <laughs> he doesn't need to know that. I knew it wasn't berserkers. Ah, not at range. You're mercs. Or alliance. I'm not... I'm not telling you anything. I've got a nice application of metagel ready to go. But if you'd rather I just keep walking... Walking. Son of a bitch. I just... I don't know anything. I just shoot the overflow from the labs. The old Krogan up there, he, he's really been cleaning house lately. Jador hired him to make her an army, but the Krogan he creates are insane. So we use them for live ammo training. It's all crap. I don't get paid enough to goddamn bleed out. Outpost 4, Jador wants us to move. We need coordinates on that Krogan pack. Can I ask <laughs> this without... What's he talking about? Jador runs a Blue Sun's outlier, and she's making Krogan for an army. But they all come out crazy, tough as hell, but just insane. Stupid. You could hire an army of mercs for cheaper than that. I don't know. I, I just point and shoot and bank my credits. Maybe there's something better in the labs. See, and so bringing him, I, I, I don't know, I don't know if anybody actually makes a comment there normally, but I think this is one of those unique dialogue options because this does involve the Blue Suns. Bringing uh, Zaid will give you some extra, some extra dialogue. I want your friends gone. Understand? Uh, patrol. The last group dispersed. Lost sight five minutes ago. Dispersed. Jador will be pissed. She wanted to show. You asked for a report, you got it. Dispersed. Understood. Returning to the labs. Oh. There. You see? I'm helping. Agitated Sergeant. <laughs> that was the name of the other guy. Mm. Have you seen Okir? Does he know about all this? We can't go in the labs, but everyone sees what happens when the Krogan come out. I've shot hundreds. They're crazy. Mindless. Anyone up there, they know what's going on. Well, and also, like, how are they killing all these Krogan that are like super like how are these humans with just guns like killing like 
hundreds of Krogan. Even if they're insane. Like, they're still Krogan. What is Jador planning to do with all these Krogan? Replace us, probably. I sure wouldn't want to see an army of them coming at me. Only she can't control them. They aren't supposed to be crazy, but they're Krogan. How smart are they to start? Are you just... Everybody's so racist. Oh my gosh. Is Jador's lab heavily guarded? There are big guns to keep ships away. We're not outfitted to fight goddamn commandos. I am a commando. Technically, me and my squad, we are like a small infiltration unit commando. We are commandos. If you start limping now, you might find a shady spot. Before you <laughs> <out>. Shit. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh. You're just about pissed himself. <laughs> Some people need a heavy hand. Come on. <laughs> Our warlord is somewhere in Jador's lab. Usually. Oh. She really does like the sound of her own voice. Like, it's amazing. Like, never trust somebody who thinks you need a loudspeaker to get their uh, spiel across. Oh, should I call this here? No, not yet. Let's get a little further. I think we'll be alright. But like, I don't know, would you really want to be like these blue sun mercs? Like, you know, is that the- hang on, shoot, shoot again. Okay, the one I'm thinking of is actually, I think, the collector heavy weapon. Oh, jeez. Yeah, the one I'm thinking of is the Krogan heavy weapon that puts out a laser beam. This one is cool. Whatever this the rifle is. And these are the Krogan. That were deemed expendable. Did he die? Oh, he still got one health. Who's next? But yeah, why would you want to be a Blue Suns merc here when she's like obviously trying to replace you? You know? Oh, jeez. Oh. That one hit. Come on, aren't there more? I swear, there's more. Ben impressive, thank you. <laughs> no, no, you're impressive. Barring concussive shot. Yeah, I think I usually don't let them have control of their own abilities. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. E e e come on, I have to like angle it slightly up. Oh, see, that wasn't enough. I didn't do it enough. Ow! Sit down. I can't. My gun. My gun. Gun. Scratch one. Man, they are freaking out. I I I hit them, but I shouldn't have. The hitboxes are huge. Also, you guys are way too close to what is apparently an insane building. Sit down. But it is not attacking us. How curious. You are different. New. You don't smell like this world. 
Seven night cycles, and I have felt only the need to kill. But you... Something makes me speak. Night cycles? Seven days? They must breed them full size, ready to kill. Not much improvement over regular mercs if they need training. Bread to kill. No, I kill because my blood and bone tell me to. But it's not why I was flushed from Glass Mother. Survival is what I hear in my head. Against the enemy that threatens all my kind. But I failed, even before waking. That is what the voice in the water said. That is why I wait here. Okir's voice? Did he speak to you while you were in your tank? I heard the voice. Not like now, with ears. Inside. I called it Father. It liked that. But it was disappointed. I'm not what it needs me to be. A lab with Krogans. Sounds like an attempt to cure the genophage. Cure? Cure was never whispered. Survive, resist, ignore. I destroyed Saren's cure. How does Okir expect these Krogan to ignore the genophage if not by curing it? No idea. Doesn't look like he's had much success so far. I wonder if bringing Morden here for this. He, I think Morden might say something. How did you disappoint the voice? I don't know. It was decided before I left Tank Mother. I was not perfect. He was grown in a tank. It's probably crazy, like that Merc said. I don't know of that. But I'm not perfect. Does he sound crazy? Like he's speaking very eloquently for a Krogan who's seven days old. How can you speak if you're only a week old? There was a scratching sound in my head, and it became the voice. It taught things I would need. Walking, talking, hitting, shooting. Then the voice said I was not perfect, and the teaching stopped. And now I am here. It was taught enough to be judged. I still don't know what the goal was, though. I don't know, but I'm not perfect. You're supposed to be part of a mercenary army. Do you remember Jador? I know that name. It causes anger, but also laughter. It is not a name that will be sung when we march. I don't know what that means, but I have heard it many times. It's like a weird combination of like, uh mental imprints and like genetic imprints you know like outside imprint and like potentially like genetic memory you know can you show me the laboratory i need to speak with okir the glass mother she is up past the broken parts behind many of you fleshy things i will show you you're a fleshy thing too Krogans are strong. We can. <laughs> I've never heard anybody say that. <laughs> Nobody usually comments there. You fleshy things are slow when big things are in your way. It's true. You could have run or tried to fight your way back to the labs. Why stay here? I am waiting. The voice told me if they come, I fight. But I will not run. And I will not follow. I am not perfect, but I have purpose. I must wait until called, released. I usually say come with me. Not a lot of room to maneuver. Stay sharp. I usually say come with me, but I wanted to see that other one would say. Um, he says essentially the same thing, um, but I think I will call this one here. So far, Zaid has been a treat, uh, and Garrus also. What a fun squad! I feel I do feel like Garrus and Zaid would be very interesting, but potentially butt heads, not necessarily buddies, but an interesting <laughs> duo to bring out. Anyway, I want to say thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I want to give an extra special shout out to my patrons. So thank you to all my patrons, but to especially my sapling tier patron, Skellamunker. Thank you so much, and Reescalito. Thank you so much. Also, Sapling Tier Patron. <laughs> and I want to say an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Tree Tier Patron, who is awesome and the greatest. Thank you so much for your support. And uh, again, thank you all so much, and I hope to see you in the next one.